Cause you ain't tryna feel sorrow Just because you mad, why mess with the man's car though? Bitch, I lost cause, why questioning my religion? Talk about it for days Hey, what's up, YouTube? This your boy, PJ2 Hot here. I'm back with another video. And today I'm back with my dog again for another video. We will be taking a trip to the uh, dog park. Um, she has a good time over there. Come here, Roxy. Come here. Come here. Um, she has a good time over there. As you can see, she's hyped up. She's ready. You know what I mean? She's having a good time. I got her harness on. And uh, so, yeah, I, th I thought I'd take her over there to get some of that energy out as well. So it should be pretty good. Um, she loves going for car rides. She loves doing all that. So, yeah, I think she's really going to enjoy this. Get out the woods. Get out the woods. So, let's, yeah, so, yeah, so she's really going to enjoy this. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to this video. All right, guys, as you can see, here she is. She's very excited. We just arrived over here. Ain't that right, baby girl? We, like we just arrived over here, so it doesn't look like it's really people here. I could be wrong. There's people pulling up right behind me right now. So it could be people coming up with their dogs. If not, we're still going to be out here for a little bit. I'm probably going to throw a ball around, you know, and maybe try to teach her a few things while I'm out here doing a little training sessions. I don't know. But, you know, regardless, you know, sometimes dogs show up later. I've came up here before and I'm by myself. And then, like, after, like, 15 minutes, another dog shows up. So, you know, just give people time. But besides that, we're going to have fun here. So, yeah. Ready? Let's get it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pusha Too Hot. Just left the dog park. You know, we played fetch, but well, so-called fetch. You, you know, throw the ball. She'll bring it back to you. We, she'll keep going. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, pretty much, like, I threw the ball around, played it around for a little bit in the park, and no dogs really showed. Well, one dog did, but they didn't come in. They kind of, I guess they was afraid of her. <laughs> but so I decided, you know what? You know, it's a... Dog park without dogs to me can be kind of boring unless you're training. So I just thought, hey, let's go ahead and take her out for a little walk here through this trail and then we'll head back to the car. So yeah, it looks like this will be a pretty interesting little trip. I just thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. So yeah, talking quiet mainly because I don't really, I guess so-called, you know, vlog in public places. Mainly because it's kind of awkward when people walk by and they see you talking and nobody's there. I don't know, it's just kind of awkward. So this is my first time really doing this. So I guess the more I do it, the more comfortable I'll get to where I just won't care. But yeah, let us sniff around for a little bit. I think it'd be pretty good. So yeah, um, 
I know it's been like a week since I uploaded a video. I had a lot, well, I've been working and stuff and just been tired, but I'm off for only one day right now. So I want to spend a little bit of this day with my dog. You know what I mean? And taking her out on these walks and I guess small little adventures that you can take with each other. So, you know, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is my first, this is actually my first time going down this trail, actually. I mean, I knew of it, but I never really took it until now. So yeah, oh uh, man. It's a huge trail, but definitely a great place to take your dog for a walk. I like the wilderness though, so hey. Oh man, um, yeah, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I've been busy with work and everything. This is steep hill. I've been busy with work and everything, so I haven't really had the time. I told you on my days off, I try to be as productive as possible, and that's making more YouTube videos for everybody and be, being more active on YouTube. And uh, some of my longtime viewers might be surprised to see how active I've been lately. I've just been in the mood to get right back into it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I thought this would be perfect time, and I also said I was going to be doing more videos with my dog anyway. So, they, hey. What better way to do it than to take an adventure together for the first time through this trail, which is very steep. Like this, this is legit a steep hill. I am walking fast down this hill. Oh man. Crazy thing is about this park that we're in, I actually never um, knew that this dog, I mean, where this park had a dog park. This park I used to go to occasionally when I was little. Um, I think I, you know, like for example, I used to play baseball. I know we used to have practices and stuff out here every once in a while. And um, also for school, like school little mini trips, school little mini field trips to the park. We used to take some out here and there was a whole eating place right in the woods that we used to all go to and it used to be so fun when I was little. But you know, I like a dog park. I never knew when I figured out they built it two years ago. So that's probably one reason why I didn't know. And also, I didn't even really know this park was as active as it actually really is. Um, so technically, we're going backwards from this trail since there's an arrow pointing the direction that we just came. So yeah, this is actually a trail, I think, for some game that usually plays. You can see some of the obstacles are still up, you know what I mean? So, but with whole Corona, I don't think they even did these games this year. But yeah, I never really knew about, I knew that this park was as active as it was. Most of the time when I was little, when I came out here, there was barely anybody out here at all, except for baseball teams and stuff. I knew it was used to practice for some teams, but I never knew a lot of people come out here to jog. A lot of people come out here, you know, to, um, you know, uh, play basketball at the uh, goals down there, which usually every time I came out here, there was no basketball games going on at all it was always like either dead or people at the pool now during the summer people came out here for the pool a lot but that was about it you know so but yeah I came out here I'm like dang this park has a lot more to it I just never really paid attention to it because I was always out here for a purpose besides exercising well I was always out here either because they had family events you know or when I was playing baseball or for school field trips but that was about it so yeah, it's called the Fox Chase Disc Golf Course is what this is called. Oh, man. So, yeah, um, I actually have another video planned. The video might go up before or after this video. It just depends. And it is uh, going over to Friday the 13th new Blu-ray collection that came out. You know, the four, and the, the reason I brought it up also is because this right here reminds me of Friday the 13th, being in the middle of the woods at Camp Crystal Lake Park. You know what I mean? So, and um, I'm gonna be doing a video about it pretty soon, actually. Um, it's either, I'm, I'm either gonna upload it today or possibly tomorrow is when I'm actually going to uh, do this video. Um, I'm gonna be comparing the original collection or the original box set with uh, this newest one because I know the, the first four movies have been have new 4K scans. So yeah, you know, hey, I obviously give it a shot. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to 
trying to see, I'm trying to see something. Um, another one for the, I guess, disc golf course that they got. But yeah. Oh man. I know this is usually different from most videos I do. I don't really vlog. But you know, I'm a person too that has a lot on my mind. So doing stuff like this also kind of gets stuff off my mind. You know, so yeah. Um, I can tell Roxy's actually really enjoying this walk. Actually, I can tell she's really having a good time with it. Oh man. Yeah, when I work 12 hour shift swing shifts, but mostly when I'm working, she can't get out the house too much. So I try to dedicate time on my days off, you know, to get her outside the house and let her out and be a dog for a little bit, you know, let her explore. That's the whole point. The life of a dog shouldn't be chained up, you know, or inside a cage all the time, you know. Nap times occasionally, that's fine, but you know, sometimes it's great to let them out and enjoy themselves a little bit and be dogs, you know what I mean? So make sure when you get a dog for that squirrel, you ain't getting it. That's the first time I've actually seen her react to a squirrel too. She usually just looks at him, but she was wanting that one. Um, come on, girl. Uh, this trail is actually longer than I actually thought. Uh, I know there's shortcuts back back there if you want to turn back around. I just wanna, I'm actually curious to really see how far this trail actually goes. This game has to be tiring too. When you look at all these steep hills they have to run up. Oh man. This game has to be tiring, I'm telling you. See, look at that steep, this is a steep hill. Oh, I think I see where it probably goes back around, okay. I'm probably gonna come out on the other side of the park. So, I have to walk all the way back to the car, but this would definitely exercise her. Oh, man. But yeah, for some of you guys who are wondering how old is Roxy, she's a, a year and four months. Uh, so yeah. Obviously she's oh, she's still in her little, she's still a young Roddy. And she's still in her uh, puppy stage. She's still got her puppy hyperness a little bit too. It's calming down a little bit, I noticed that. You know what I mean? She's calmed down a lot compared to when she was six months. She was something else to that age, y'all, I'm telling you. But, oh uh, man. Yeah, but actually they can reach the end of the trail. Well, not the end of it, but the end of the main. I'm assuming, I don't know. Oh, it says eight. So I'm assuming we gotta go all with all with one, right? Duh, PJ. But yeah. Sorry if I'm just mambling. I mean, it'd be better for me just to talk random, random shit than to sit here and just be going on a walk and not talking to you guys. And all you guys are just, just silence. You know what I mean? Some people might like silence videos, but I don't. And it'd probably just be awkward. So yeah. So I'll tell you guys what's been going on lately. Uh, more of what's been going on lately. Um, obviously I got my PS5 pre-order after staying up to four o'clock in the morning, refreshing the Best Buy page until it finally worked. So I got that going on. And um, I'm still planning on moving out and getting my own place. Hopefully next year, hopefully. I got some stuff I gotta handle, you know, with my car too as well. I know I gotta get get some stuff fixed. So, you know, once I get all that done, start stacking up my money again. You know, I had a minor, I had a major setback when it came to my car and some other stuff. So I had to spend a lot of money. So they kind of missed me up. Uh, I was trying to be out at least by November or October or whatever, but things don't always go according to plan. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I'm trying to get my own place. I think that'd be best for videos and a whole bunch of other stuff instead of just doing videos in my room all the time. That's why this is different because now I'm actually doing videos outside of where I'm normally at. You know what I mean? And it's refreshing. You know, like it's really refreshing. It's different. You know, it's great for me too, man. Like lately, I haven't had a chance to really, you know, a lot of people be busy a lot. So I don't really have a chance to get outside the house a lot. So, you know, I started taking it up to me like, hey, you know, you have to rely on other people to be outside the house. Like, you can do it yourself, you know. Go out for jogs or go out to the park with your dog. You know, that's a way to get you outside the house a little bit. You know what I mean? So, this is usually what I do. I've been doing this for a while. Not at this park specifically. But there's another park I go to where I usually walk up the trail as well. You know, but that trail is more of a straight up, like a straight forward and straight back type trail. 
So yeah. The trail actually keeps going down here. I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna go up around here. Oh man. Cause I can tell and I can see the park up here. So yeah. Unless that wasn't the trail where that says 14 right here. Boy, how many games has this trail got? That is crazy. Ah, man. Yeah, there's the park right here coming up from the back. You know, I might cut the video off right here. It's because we have a long way back. <laughs> well, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, we kind of do that. Well, we can walk through here. We can walk through here. You guys can see the slides and stuff up there. Uh, we can walk through here. I just like to keep it going. But yeah, so our old girl's getting tired, but yeah, she really did enjoy this walk. And I did too. I actually might come out here again and we can walk through this trail. So yeah. That's a pretty cool. And plus, I'm a nature person too. I like the outdoors. And nature looks nice out here. So yeah. So yeah, I'm more of a person who likes to kind of get out a little, you know, get out more. Back in the day, I used to stay in the house a lot, but you know, it, it really didn't bother me like that when I was younger. When you get older, you know what I mean? You start experiencing life more outside the house. You realize there's more to life than just being in and being on your games and stuff all the time. You know, which I still, obviously I game. I'm a gamer for life, you know, that's not gonna change. But you know, it's healthy to get outside a little bit. So, you know, hey. That's why I'm glad I kind of got her because she makes me be active a lot more. You know what I mean? She makes me be active a lot more. I think having Roxy is more of a blessing for me. You know what I mean? It kind of gets me outside the house doing a lot more. Because she needs to be active because she's a rider and then need her exercise. And I need to be active too because, you know, get born being in the house. So yeah. Oh man. So we, I guess we'll come up. Man, this game goes on forever, like, boy. Guarantee you it was fun, though. There's the basketball court down there. You guys probably can't see. You might can see the top of the fence back there, but yeah. I used to see people when I was bringing them to the dog park earlier before up here. Um, I see the people walking through here, and I used to always be like, yo, what is back here? You know what I mean? So. I decided to come back here myself. I'm like, yo, it's a whole damn trail back here. I'm like, damn. And you just got to just experience that just now. You know, this is the day that I come back here for the first time. So yeah, it's a whole damn trail back here. Oh, man, I just recently seen a family come through. They had a pit bull. They were walking out of here. They just came from the woods. And that's what sparked the idea of taking this walk when I saw them come out. They was getting ready to come to the dog park. They saw my dog. I just, just explained this earlier. Uh, I don't know if I said a small dog earlier or not. If I did, I'm sorry. That's my fault. It was a pit bull. And, uh, well, pit bull. And uh, there was, I don't know if they was necessarily afraid of Roxy or they probably didn't know how their dog would actually react to the situation. So they probably just preferred to, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, go back here or go around and maybe we'll come back to the dog park another day. Cause I don't know. Some people just don't know how their dogs are going to react. So they don't want to test it. But to me, my personal opinion, the best way to know you need to socialize your dog. I had to learn that with my past dog that wasn't too socialized too well. She didn't get along with people. Oh, I, I know I can take the trail and go around up there. I'm just gonna, this trail right here kind of connects to the old one. So I'm just gonna connect it and go back where I came. But, um. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to take to upload and process here. Yeah, this is a 4K shot video right here. You know, so. What you smell? Pick up something? Yeah. I don't know how long this video would, if this video would even get that many views or not. But we'll see. It's a, it's sometimes when you make YouTube videos, it's afraid to try something outside the formula because you don't think no people will actually watch it. But I think that's the best way to 
build an overall, overall great audience just to, you know, explore and try different things, you know, just, I love gaming, you know, I love it, but you just specifically making videos just for that every once in a while can kind of limit the amount of content that you can put out, you know, so, so while my channel is primarily a, um, oh shoot, I'm about to, so while my channel is primarily a uh, gaming channel, you know, it's going to be primarily a gaming channel. Um, ah, should I? I don't know if I shoot the old oh, yeah, I can't see. I, I do that. But, uh, so while my channel is primarily a gaming channel, to me it is good enough for, you know, um, to switch things up a little bit and put other content out as well. So that way when I build my viewer base up even more, I got viewer bases that know who I am. They know the content I put out is more than just gaming. So, you know, you could, to me, I think I think I could bring her, bring in a, uh, what you see? She looked like she had an urge to go after something. I'm trying to see what she saw. Okay. But, um. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to the direction that you prefer. But, uh, all right, there's the hill. What you see? Hmm. This is actually a truck, but I'm not going around. Go this way. There you go. Uh. There you go. Now, let's take this trail back up the hill up here. They got bridges and everything back here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right. Let's take this trip back up. This, I don't, this obviously isn't the same hill I came up. But, oh. The only reason I'm taking this is because I see the next part of the obstacle course up here. So. And there's the trash can that I walked by earlier. So yeah. Oh man, this is actually a pretty fun video. It's 20 minutes longer than I expected, but great. Fun time to vlog and talk to you guys about stuff. So yeah. Bringing more content to this channel obviously will be good. I think I think I could build a better audience when they see that I do multiple things instead of besides just one. I used to make separate channels for certain things. This is a steep hill. I used to make Separate channels for everything. No, no, man. Come on, let's go. But uh, I used to make separate, se uh, separate channels for everything when I was uh first getting started on YouTube. But to me, that kind of alienates your audience, so I don't do that no more. Only for certain things. If I know I'm gonna make content that could possibly give me a copyright strike, then yeah, you make a separate channel for that type of stuff. But regular videos, like some of my short films and stuff, I still got my, I can't even get into my PJ2 PG, PG High Productions channel, I don't think so. But I wanna put all that on this channel for you guys to see, then splitting it up on multiple different other channels because that usually doesn't work. See? Back on the trail where we, where we came from. Whew. This is a steep hill, y'all. I am not lying. Oh, man. oh boy. It's a steep hill. Took a lot out of me. But, oh, man, that was a nice walk. Uh, she's tired. I know I am. Well, not really. I'm not really tired, tired. But, like, technically, I can walk around the trail one more time. I'm just not going to. I know she's kind of tired, though, I can tell. So I just gonna... So that's where that family must have came down right through there. About time for us to head back to the house. Stop by the store real quick. Oh, man. Well, Roxy, that was a good adventure. Um, we definitely should do this again sometime. I might call this thoughts. 
I might actually do this a lot more, like, you know, just to give you guys updates on what's going on. Every once in a while, I might do vlogs where I just walk through this trail and we can just talk about stuff, like up upcoming movies, upcoming multiple things. It would actually be pretty cool and different. So yeah, that's something I should probably consider, right? If there are any of you guys that think that's a good idea, let me know. I just think I should do that. You know, I think it'd be good to get me out of the house and being productive at the same time, right? So yeah, um, anyways though, uh, this was, uh, I don't know what I should call it. I don't know why she called this series. We'll figure that out. But this is just a walk through the park. Told me my greatest days was uh, within my dreams. Told me my, my greatest fears was everything. How many people go best friends to enemies?